Hello and welcome to another episode of That's Trucking with your host, me, Trucker Warren. Well, today I've got a several part series we're going to start on and we're going to be installing a 10,000 watt generator in the truck and uh, we're going to be burning some metal and uh, burning some aluminum and we're going to have a lot of fun with that. So stay tuned. So here to help me today, or rather me help him, the man with all the tools, one of my best friends in the world here, Jim McMahon. How you doing, Jim? I'm doing good. Thank you, Well, Warren. what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to fire up the old spool gun, aluminum welding job. Is that right, aluminum? Yes, sir. Yes. What are we going to do on aluminum? We are going to tack and tack and hack and tack. Is that right? And pretty soon we're going to have a hack attack. Hey, slots and washers, it's the slots American way, right? That's right. <laughs> so we're on crating it. That's what I'm trying to do. So what we're doing here right now is reconfiguring the motor mount so the thing will fit properly in the new box. We're just going to do some minor modifications here. <laughs> it's smoking. I'm already wounded. All right, so there we are. All stripped down to about as low as we can get it. Strippage. Motor mounts modified. Strippage. Hour meter box and key starts off. We're gonna have to remount that in a remote location. And uh, we're still taller than the manufacturer told us that it was supposed to be 24 inches. It's not. Anyway, we'll figure it out. So we just got back with a boatload of metal. And there's a whole bunch more boatload of metal. Ah, you're in, man. <laughs> all right, so here we've got all the L brackets and the cross members built, and we temporarily mocked it up inside the truck so we can get an idea of fit. This 10,000 watt baby's fitting in here just perfect. All right, so we're getting it test fitted in there now. After building all new hangers and main beams to hold it. There it is. So what the idea is here, to cut the box in half to make it easier for installing and easier accessibility for servicing. What we got here is a Benford 3700 saw fence. <laughs> uh -huh, this thing's got more power and more angles than Carter has pills. No, really. This makes it real easy for making those long cuts on the aluminum box. Nothing like tearing up a $400 box. Look at that straight edge. Can you Ooh. see that? And that thing just snaps right on. Made easy with the Benford 3700. Okay. Action. Now the best thing you can do when you're cutting out a box like this, you want to make sure and leave your corners attached. Otherwise, if you go make full complete cuts, your box will just come right apart and you just have this flopping mess. That's why this Benford 337, 3700, it's the bomb, baby! 
Now at this point, we're going to set this thing in a very safe position. We're going to come in with a sawzall and cut off all these little tabs one by one until we have two pieces. We have a total of four. Now we're going to get away with uh, taking these last few cuts, those ones that I pointed out about holding the cam together, and we're going to use this Benford approved DeWalt reciprocating saw. <laughs> and now it's time for a safety break. Jim, could you tell us about those Benford earmuffs that you're wearing? You know, every time I go to do a cut worn, I always try to protect my ears because when I get old and fart and gray and stuff like that, I want to be able to hear my little grandkids telling me to go get the heck out of here or something. And that's why I have to wear glasses. My assistant Warren here is about to show your you. Your assistant. Okay, maybe I'm your assistant. There you go. We're both assisting each other. That's right. Make sure we get this straight. We're, we're professional con destruct construct. Uh, I don't know. We're something. Yeah, thank you for that note. Okay, here we go. We're taking this box apart for the first time. As you can see, it's wide open. <laughs> Today, I want to show you this Benford approved Spoolmate 30 amp. This here has got a little coil in here with a roll of aluminum. Use a straight argon. And it'll weld just about any aluminum, providing you got a steady hand. Jam in the spool gun, take four. <laughs> spool gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And action. Oh, okay. This is a Miller spool gun. 30A. Is it Benford approved? Um, it's Benford. Absolutely. All the way. You know what? We can use this thing to spoof up our trucks. And don't forget your essential footwear in a shop. With the special paint on it. Toenail polish. And the paint. From the Are house. those Benford? Is that Benford approved toenail <laughs> toenail polish? 99 cent glasses. Uh huh. Well, that's it for today's episode. Join us tomorrow as we weld tabs in the box and get the unit installed. Until then, drive safe. Come here. Time for supper.